Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Safe Here First. My name is Ella and I'm a reseller. Hmm, I think it's the first time I've actually used that word reseller. Anyway, I sell on Poshmark and Macari. I don't sell on eBay, I don't sell on Amazon. Why? I don't like eBay. Amazon, I don't know. I might try it, but for now, uh, I'm doing well on Mercari and hmm, on Poshmark. So, and I do sell on Facebook Marketplace. I've made three sales so far. So, um, I just only started there, so that's okay. Now, today, what do I want to talk about today? Today, I want to talk about relisting on Mercari. We know you can't relist stuff on Mercari. But I, I know I can. I, if you don't, I'll show you how I do relisting on Macari. Now, Poshmark, you don't need to do relisting on Poshmark. Unless you want to, you can do that for several reasons. Maybe um, the picture wasn't good and you got, you know, you got a good background and you want to take retake the picture so you can relist it. So you can do all that on Poshmark. Or you can just keep sharing that same listing to get more views and, you know, hopefully get somebody to buy the item. Now, what I found on Macari, you cannot share the way you share, share your listing on Poshmark. So what do you do if you have a listing that you posted about a month ago and has so many views so many likes and nobody's buying that item okay so this is what i do i release that item how do i release that item i repost it that's what i do i repost that item so i don't really care if it had 200 views and probably five plus likes if those people didn't buy it after i promoted it giving them um several discount and they didn't buy it then they are not my audience so what do i do i delete it and i repost it if they see it and they like it and they buy it that's fine but that's what i do and so many times i've deleted an item on macari and relisted it i've sold it within a week or two so if i have a item that is in my closet for over a month or two months if i have the time well I have to make time because I want that item to sell. I will relist it. So I'll be showing you what I do by relisting that item. Also, if you see me looking down, I means I, I made a note. So bear with me. I want to talk uh, about my goals today. And also I want to talk about um, how to please your customer by adding a free gift. Also, let's see. I love giveaways. I have always loved giving things away. Uh, when I had a blog on um, WordPress, I had a lot of items that I gave away free. So I would love to do that again and give stuff away for free. So we'll be talking about that or I'll be talking about that. So let me show you what I do first of all in relisting an item that i've listed probably a month ago or two months ago okay so let's go on to the computer so i have an item here that i listed about a month ago okay i have eight likes and 219 views on this id for two in and two hour audio interface I've had a few people ask me questions about it, if it was new, and but nobody has bought it yet. A lady was going to buy it for her boyfriend for Christmas, and then she came back and said, oh, he already has this one. So now I have had so much views on these items, eight likes. I reduced the item. I set this item for, let's say, about 250 and uh was bringing it down each time i kept promoting it 
and had more likes, more views, but nobody was buying the item. So what I'm going to do is relist this item. I don't care about the likes or the number of views because I feel that there's eight people that weren't interested in this item because I reduced it, promoted it to them, and still they didn't buy it. So what am I gonna do? I am going to relist this item. But before I do, I'm gonna move over to eBay to find out how much this item is selling for. So this is the items, uh, same item, which is the ID4 audio. And I put it in eBay and I wanted to just see the sold items. And as we can see, I've had my up since December. And um, since December, I had it up the same time, just about here. And you can see this so for 165 um i don't know if that order got cancelled but it says 189 so probably got cancelled i see here it sold for 199 um these people decide to reduce their price so it sold so now that i'm seeing that the item it sold at a reduced price so this item sold just uh, last week for $131, had three bids on it. So it wasn't a buy now. This one was a buy now and it sold for $165, which is not bad. There's another buy now, which sold a day after Christmas for $190. So what am I going to do? I'm going to play around with my price or should I just leave it that, as it is? Mm never know i'll leave it as it is and take a, a new offer so i go back and i'm gonna release this item what i've done i've already saved these pictures so i'm just gonna click sell my computer is kind of slow so bear with me so I'll upload some photos let's go to photos uh, shift Upload that. Hope it works. Or oh, maybe I'm supposed to do it one at a time. Okay, it's not uploading yet. So let's try and do one at a time if that will work. Okay, yes, it worked. Okay, so I think I have to go back and add the others. So yes, okay, now we're gonna put the product title. So I've already had all this information saved. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Uh, we'll be talking about Derek soon. This is why I wanted to talk about the gold. So we'll be talking about Derek soon. Okay, paste that, go back to my Copy. Add that in my description. And um, okay, see what it says. Like to do all the correction. Okay, hashtags, you know, hashtags, it's good to add the hashtags because if anybody's using hashtag, they'll be able to find the item, so that's great. And one more, Makari gives you only three options, so just do that and categories we're gonna do electronics so what are we gonna look for hmm. 
Okay. Uh, it says audio, so let's put it media, see if that will bring anything up, just do others. I might go back in and change it later, but for now, I'm just going to um, leave it as that. So, um, copy, I'm going to check if that's the name brand, but... It didn't take it, so I'm just gonna put that for now. And I am gonna put, I don't wanna put um, new without tag, no sign well check, cause it says like new. Um, it says new with tag, on open boxing, on use. You know what, let's do that. we we'll just put that. Uh, color is black. Now I got the shipping, so. I don't like to ship with um, UPS, so just gonna ship with FedEx because FedEx is, um, you know, next door. So I'm just gonna put FedEx. Do you want the buyer to pay for shipping? No. You know what? Do I really want the buyer to pay for shipping? I'll pay for the shipping, you know, I'll pay for the shipping. So we're going to set the price as $195. And please do not, okay, I think because let's just put $195 there. Okay, great. So the selling fee is $19.50, processing fee $5.96. Shipping a nine ninety five and I earn hundred and fifty nine fifty five, which is not bad. Okay, um, set as I'll probably leave that on. You know, let's go far down. So let's list that item. And now I've relisted the item. So let's go to my listing. Now it's number one on my first page. So I'm gonna go back, scroll down. I wanna make sure I remove the other listing. I don't want it to be sold twice, so because I only have one. So go down and delete. So that item has been deleted. Great. So, so that is what I do when I want to release an item that hasn't sold, has so much views. I've promoted it several times. I've reduced the price and still didn't have any offer. I remember the last, um, price I reduced it to was 125 and still the eight that click like then actually buy the item. So I am going to now post it. Well, I've already posted it. So it's out there and I have new buyers, hopefully or new likes and a lot of views. And hopefully this item will sell within a week or two. So that's how I do my relisting on Macari. Now, um, I was talking about adding gifts to my buyer's offer. Now, if somebody actually placed an order for this item, the ID4, and I would like to give them a gift, so I normally could put this in the pack, which is discover your own wine. So that's great. I also have Kenku cards. So this pays for just the hotel. They will have to book their flight, but this is free. So this, uh, they wouldn't have to pay a whole lot of money on booking their hotel which is good. So I add this, they don't have to sit down for 
any presentation, nothing like that. I used to give these cards out uh, to my customers. So I'm glad I'm gonna have to do that again. I have a few of those left. So, okay, what more do I have? Um, I'm actually a member of Fab uh, FabFitFun. So this is a 15% off. So that I will put in the box. Also for somebody that wants to try that. I also have a HBO Max. Anybody wants to try that, I'll put that in the box as well. And they can have that for free for 30 days. We also have the Hello Fresh. If you don't like to eat out like me, I don't like eating out. So this being the box, you can try nine free meals. So there's so many other gifts I like to put in my um, box to uh, give to my buyers. And that's come to me talking about giving away free gifts. So before I talk about giveaways, I wanted to talk about fundamental of side hustling. He is a reseller on eBay. He sells a lot on eBay. If you haven't seen any of his videos, please go to his page. I'll put the link on the bottom in the comment section. Please click on the link, visit his page. He does give really good advice and he talks a, a lot about having goals. And his goals are, okay, I'm going to um, make a thousand dollars this week. That's what he likes to talk about. He has his vision board, as you can see. He goes through how many items he sold. Um, he also talks about how many items he lists. So I really um, encourage people to do your best to have a goal. And I've listened to him several times. I've watched a lot of his videos and he encourages me to um, have a goal. Now, my goal is different from his goal, okay? So my goal is to list, list, and list. And my goal is to sell 10 items each week. That is my goal. I want to be able to sell 10 items every week. Now, if I sell more than 10 items, that's great. But that's my prayer to at least make 10 to sell 10 items. So, um, that's what Derek does. His name is Derek and his channel is fundamental outside hustling. So I'll drop the link. Please click on the link and be encouraged. Now, also, I want to talk about, who do I want to talk about? I want to talk about Palette Jacking. Palette Jacking, they're a brother and sister duo, and they um, give really good advice. I love watching uh, their channels, the videos they put out there. I love watching it. I always talk about them, and I'm going to continue to talk about them, and you will see why. Just look at, look at the channel. Look how colorful their channel is. And they talk about everything. They have live shows on, on uh, Tuesday. They do unboxings on Thursday. And they have courses that you can actually um, watch. So they have free palette flipping courses. So if you want to buy palettes, you want to know about how, where to go to buy your palettes, what to do when you get your palettes. I would advise you to um, check out Palette Jacking. I'll leave their link in the comment below. So check them out. You will have fun watching them and you also learn a lot from them. Same thing with Derek. If you go to his channel, you will learn a lot from him as well. So please visit his channel. 
He will take you on a ride. You can see that's Derek with Regina. Regina, she takes you on a shopping ride. So you can visit her channel as well. Regina Mitchell. So now let's turn the camera back to me. So I love giveaways not for me to get something but for me to give i've always loved giving you know when i had uh, my children's books and give i gave away a lot of books school supplies i remember um back when i was living in brandon i used to go to chip for lay and sell some of my books and gift and i would say could you please put a note and let the customers know that I'll be here at five o'clock giving away school supplies. And I used to have people line up, okay, just to get free school supplies. And that used to fill my heart. I used to love giving. I did that when I also had um, my clothing business. I just, you know, give out a lot of stuff. Now that I'm a reseller, I want to do that again. So I'm trying to build a blog so I can have people go there and they could um, actually share it and I could do a giveaway, one or two giveaways, um, at least a month or a, a week. But the more items I receive in my mystery box, the more items I can say, you know what, that could go towards giving it away free to somebody. So I'll love to do that again. So look out for the blog. You know what? Things have really changed since I've been away from the, you know, the business world because I went back and I wanted to uh, start a page on um, WordPress so I can start doing my giveaway. Could you believe it? I haven't even finished working on that page because it has changed from when I used to do it, you know? It used, to be, it used to come so simple to me and I was like, oh yes, I can add this, I can add this. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, what happened to WordPress? Have I been gone that long and things have changed? Yes, I was away for about four years and things have really changed. Things have moved on, now I have to play catch up. So that's what I'm doing. So um thank you for watching my channel all i just wanted to do was come on here to talk about um how to relist on makari talk about trying to please your buyers by adding a few gifts to the order also to talk about fundamental or side hustling how he talks about meeting your goals also palette jacking for any training you want to know about palettes they have a free course on their channel so visit the channel and watch those and be inspired so thank you and stay blessed and remember it's always good to be good i just made that up didn't i always good to be good yeah it's good to be good Anyway, um, like, subscribe, and um, share. But I'm just grateful that you're here to watch my channel. So take care. Bye.